Hey guys, Colgrat here, and today is another How to Play World of Tanks episode, and today's video is all about Super Heavies, how to play Super Heavy Tanks. And I think if I could claim a skill that, eh, my best skill, not one that I'm the best at, but my best skill in World of Tanks, I think it's blocking damage. Um, I'm not the greatest light tank player, I'm not the greatest medium tank player, I'm not the greatest tank destroyer player. But I love blocking damage, it's one of my favorite roles to do. And uh, I have some pretty good records on my account. That's not saying I'm the best at it, but I think it's my best skill. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today, are super heavies, not heavy tanks. Super heavies, what is the role of a super heavy tank? The role of a super heavy tank is quite different from what we talked about last week. Um, last week we talked about, you know, make sure if you're gonna shoot at somebody or you're gonna get shot at, you can shoot at them. Mitigate the guns. Mitigate the amount of guns shooting at you. That's what we talked about. The super heavies are completely different. The more guns shooting at you or looking at you, the better. <laughs> it's completely different. Uh, because you're the one who enables the medium tanks to have only one or two guns pointed at them or enables your light tanks to get to that bush because everybody's looking at you, or flank around to get the arty, or allows your assault heavies to make a push because you took the big hit from the Death Star, right? That's your job, but also staying alive. So let's take a quick example before we jump into a game. Let's say you're in Prokhorovka and the enemy team has taken the bowl, and you're like, I'm in the mouse. I have no idea what to do with my mouse on Prokhorovka. What you could do is you could push straight into the bowl. You push into the bowl, the tanks shoot at you, Boom, now your mediums can push into the bowl and take out their mediums. That's what a mouse can do. That's what a super heavy can do. And so today's video, we're going to be playing in the mouse and the IS-4. The IS-4 is not classified as a super heavy, but I'm going to play it anyway because it plays like a super heavy. And so that's why I've decided to choose the IS-4 and the mouse because the IS-4 is one of the worst played tier 10 heavy tanks in the game right now. And it is a tech tree tank. Anyone can, can get it. So that is why we'll be playing that as well. So let's jump into a mouse real quick and... Uh, We'll go through my live thought process. Cast Serene. They're going to give us the bad spawns. The alternate spawns, of course. That's how it works now. You know what? This map is bad. Let's make it worse, right? No, they don't. They actually give us the better spawns. Hallelujah. No artillery. Uh, and the way we're going to play this is very, 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 very easy. Typically, what you'll want to do is you'll want to look at your minimap. You'll want to see where your team goes. And then you want to want to decide, all right, where can I take hits for my team the best? Like, if I've got... A lot of tank destroyers you know out here then maybe i'll want to go here right to take the hits or if i have medium tanks who are hold up somewhere i'll want to go and take the hits for them but on cast serene these spawns it's very simple you just go middle and you take those shots so that your team can win the middle and then from there you can circle around here and uh, win that hopefully and the mouse will enable your team to win this a little bit quicker i know it's slow bad dpm you're like how does that work um because when the enemy team shoots at you, your team shoot back at them. Theoretically, of course, it's the world of tanks, so you do have 14 bots on your team, uh, but you're just trying to maximize the uh, ability of your bots. So let's see what we can do here with our mouse and our, as I said, bot E4 over there, crashing into things and stopping. Fantastic. <laughs> but we can't judge. Who knows? Maybe he's uh, he got a phone call. But we'll find out. But yeah, we're just going to go mail. We've got this. It's World of Tanks. Let me tell you guys, Super Heavies right now, I'm going to do my best to teach how to play in a Super Heavy. But if you're playing in a Super Heavy in World of Tanks 7.0, you're playing the game wrong. It's... They are so dead right now. It's not even funny. Because everything pens you, everything can hit you. Accuracy is... a joke. Okay? So super heavies really are not the way to go. You're too slow to, to make your armor work anymore. And you're too slow to keep up with the five minute games. So we're, we're it's, uh, yeah, but I'll teach you guys as best I can. That's the plan. King Tiger. Yeah, uh, so scary. Yeah, that's the second time his engine got knocked out, it looks like. ST1. Not very scary. Machine up top. 
And we're just going to take the hits. We have an E4 and E100, both big guns, so we're going to be the, uh... We're going to be the meat shield. I mean, I know it's a Team Tiger, so what's he going to do, right? Well, he's going to die for one. We took a shell from a Death Star. That's pretty cool. We have the STI here. Turn our armor towards him. And boop. Angle for the Death Star. He does not poke. So we shoot this guy again. He switches to HE. I'm not going to take a hit from the Death Star. Not yet. I'm shooting HE, so I'm not really worried about you. And the side of your turret was presented. Now I'll take a hit from the Death Star. I don't want my E4 to take it. E4 does take it anyway. So we're just going to keep rolling. Good. He shoots me and not my teammates. That's exactly what we want. Oh, there's someone else up there. We're going to take this hit. E100, let me take the hit. Here we go. And then he gets to shoot him. Boom. Exactly what we wanted. Now my E100 can hopefully finish this guy with a nice roll. Come on, E100. And we ram. No need to ram. Angle for those guys. Come on, shoot me, not my friends. Shoot me. Look, I'll even point my gun at you. Look, there's an E4. Maybe he'll shoot me. He did. Look at that. Come on, 60 TP. Look at it. I'm not angling. Shoot me. <clears throat> we'll continue to push. Keep these guns pointed at us. We pretty much took a Death Star out of the game. He goes to my turret cheeks. We angled just in time. And the 60 TP has done nothing. And now this guy's about to get flanked. We'll get him tracked there. Gorilla can shoot him. Shoot me. Shoot me, not my friend. Shoot me. He does not shoot me. Bad shot by me. No worries. Alright, now we'll shoot this guy. And we'll back this guy into a wall. Just like this. So he's got nowhere to go. And then we'll pull forward and ram him. Ugh. Oh, he almost ran him to death there. Turn our armor around. Conway is coming. Conway's killing himself. Conway doesn't want to play the game. Conway survives. Conway kills our E100. Will our prototype do the same thing? Bounces. I don't know why we're not getting the... The block damage from these shots. There we go. And all that's left is a T110 E5. Did you notice like half the shells that hit us didn't count? I wonder why that was. And there he is. Way over there. Well that's gonna be the mouse. I doubt we're gonna get anything done, so we'll just jump to the post-game results. Or we don't even have to. Because the game ended just like that. So, post-game results, here we come. 4,600 damage, 6,000 damage block. That's exactly what you want to see in a mouse. That's exactly what you want to see in a mouse. That's your job. We could not keep our E100 alive, but we enabled him to do 4,500 damage. Which is exactly what we wanted to see. Um... Let's see. That's an ace tanker, in fact. Fantastic. And our E4, who is with us. Uh, we gave him all the opportunity in the world to do anything he wanted, but he only wound up shooting twice. So, that's too bad. But, you know what? Together, we did let them do 6,000 damage, plus our 4,600 damage. So, 10,000 damage between the three of us pushing the middle. I'll take that. That's actually a really good result. And their Death Star did zero damage. That is why you play a mouse. Step Standard Battle IS-4. And again, the IS-4 is not classified as a super heavy tank in this game. 
but it can still be played as one. So it doesn't matter whether it's classified or not. No, Artie, again, what is this? Crazy. Um, this time, we're in a bit of a faster tank. The mouse and the, and the ice 4 are pretty much on op opposite sides of the spectrum as far as super heavy tanks go, because this is a very light tank, because it's not a super heavy. Its frontal armor is trash, but it's faster, and it does have really good side armor, and so that's what I want to demonstrate is the side armor here. And uh, the more the better flexibility we'll have with our uh, mobility. It's not great mobility still. 42 with a terrible 700 horsepower engine. But that's still something you can do. So what are we going to do here? Um, We're going to go this side. There's less of us going this way. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to support this machine, support this defender. Uh, we'll have tank destroyers who are probably going to be sniping. These guys are going to be sniping from us, so that's our play right now. Is we're going to get hull down and uh, and blast. We actually hit that. We actually hit that. I think I'm going to make a change of plans. I th I don't think pushing any more than we have is worth it. There's no Arnie, so we don't have to push any further. Yeah, right here is good. Know your map, guys. Pay attention to it. Doesn't matter what class you're in. We can't fight that guy. I'll have too many snipers. We have to have him push over to us before we can fight him. I'm wondering if I want to get to that rock right there and be side scrape instead, because that's the thing's specialty. That's the plan. JK, we've changed the plan again. They've pushed over, so they're going to start getting sh cross shots on us. We don't really want that. Let's keep this guy off of us a little bit here. Angle. You have side armor. Use it. Angle for those guys. This Conqueror's not as scary as everyone else. There we go. APCR from him. Let's be armor for this machine. There we go. Now we've won that side, so we can actually pull back here safely. Pay attention to your map. Know what you can do and what you can't do. I see that light tank, but he's like, he's just a light tank. 279E is putting good shots into us. Just keep these guys lit. That's our job right now. Stay alive, keep them lit. Stay alive, keep them lit. Stay alive, keep them lit. Don't want to angle downward. That's why. Angle back upward. There we go. Not much we can really do to that guy. We're gonna kill this Brosk. Ah, just kidding. We don't need to. Seven nine. He wants to play. He'll likely win this duel. Very likely win the duel. But again, we have map control, so that enables us to pull back if we have to. We have to wait for him to angle downward, and then we can put it in. There we go. We want to get to his side because then he can't get his gun down yet. Just like this. This is how we want to fight him, and then we can continue to put our heat shells into him. He does not have gun depression, so this is likely a actually a more difficult fight than he thought. We'll put this into hopefully his ammo rack there. That's where his ammo rack is, but we didn't get the ammo rack. And we'll put one straight as flat as possible. There we go. 
Fantastic. I finish him off. Boom. Out of the game. And as you can see, the enemy team could not push through because we played our tank exactly how we were supposed to. Let's take to his upper plate. We've got heat loaded for the 2790, so why not? Why not? Now, we could have made the same play with the mouse. We could have made this play with E100. Um, it, that was the play we made. It really worked for any super heavy. We just needed to stay alive, pay attention to the minimap. We noticed this flank was going down, so we pulled back. Our other team won the other side, and that allowed us to go around the rocks. Pay attention to your minimap. That's the biggest thing. That's the key. Okay. Third place in the IS-4. Nice. 4,000 damage done. Almost 3,400 assisted. 3,400 blocked. What kind of metals? First class. Steel wall sniper. Third on the leaderboard. I mean... That's that's your job. Stay alive. Stay alive. Take the hit. Stay alive. Stay, take the hit. Stay alive. That's what we did. We took the hits. Did you see all the guns shooting out those heavy tanks as they advanced on us? Why? Because nobody was shooting back at our teammates, so they were allowed to just shoot for free. Because they were shooting at me and the machine. So well done to the machine as well. GG to him. He split. The, we could have had, look at over 5,000 assists if he wasn't with us, but he was, which is perfectly fine. Fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted to see. That's a super heavy, guys. That's how you play him. All right, take the hits, take the hits. Pay attention to your map. Be that sponge. All right. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to go check out Space Bandit. Link in the description below. And just so you know, I have a stream tomorrow, and then I'm going to have how to play light tanks on Wednesday, and then I'm taking two weeks off as I will be out of state. I'm going to Boise, Idaho. All right, I'll be gone for two weeks, so I won't be posting again until three Wednesdays from today. All right, keep that in mind. Two more videos, and then two-week break. Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. I said that already. Take care, everyone. <laughs> and peace out.